BGMC. The biblical truth lives here. scriptures foretold of the anointed one, Yeshua HaMashiach. The Messiah Yeshua came to call the people back to the truth of His word and to follow that righteous path. Yeshua then called Jewish men to be His disciples, and after His death and resurrection, those Jewish men told the world about the Jewish Messiah. Now, after 2,000 years, Beth Goyim Messianic Congregation has that same calling of those Jewish men telling all people, both Jew and Gentile, about the proper ancient path, teaching the Route 66 King's Highway from Genesis through to Revelation, and how you need and can get back to the proper roots of the faith and a closer walk with God. Now, let's hear the message. It came to pass in the days of Ahasuerus, the same Ahasuerus, who ruled from Hodu to Kush, 127 province, provinces. In those days when King Ahasuerus sat on his royal throne, which was in Shushan, the capital, in the third year of his reign he made a feast for all his ministers and servants in the army of Persia and Medea, the nobles, and all the ministers of the provinces in his service. For many days, 180 days, he displayed his glorious wealth of his kingdom and the splendorous beauty of his majesty. And when these days came to an end, the king made set a seven-day feast in the courtyard of the king's palace garden for all people in Shushan, the capital, noblemen, and commoner alike. Drinks were served in gold goblets, with each goblet different from the other. And the royal wine was in abundance, as befitting the king. The drinking was by, by the law without, I can't see. <laughs> Thank you. And there was light. I don't have it on the screen. Without force, so, and so had the king ordered all the stewards of the household to comply with each man's wish. Queen Vashti. Boo. We boo, we, we boo Vashti. Who made a feast for the women at the, in the royal palace of King Oswaros. On the seventh day, when the king's heart was married with wine, he ordered Mahuman, Bezetta, Carbona, Bigta, Abigta, Zatar, and Charkas, the seven chambermaids who attended King Oswaros, to bring Queen Vashti, who before the king, wearing the royal crown to show her beauty to the nation and ministers, for she was indeed beautiful. But Queen Vashti, oh, refused to appear by the king's order brought by the chamberlain. And the king grew furious. <laughs> After... <laughs> And his wrath seethed within him. We're not even there yet. So the king conferred with the sages. Conferred with his sages. Those knowledgeable of the times. But this was the king's custom to bring such matters before those who were versed in the law and the statute. And those closest to him. And those closest to him. He asked them. By law, what should be done with Queen Vashti? Ooh. For failing to obey the order of King Ahasuerus. 
brought by the Chamberlain. So confer with one another, guys. Bethmuchan declared before the king and his ministers, it is not against the king alone that Queen Vashti, who has sinned, but against all the ministers and all the nations and all the providence of King Ahasuerus. This very day the nobleman of Persia and Medea who have heard that the queen's deed will repeat it to all the king's nobles and there will be much disgrace and anger. If it pleases the king, let the royal edict be issued by him. And let it be written into the laws of Persia and Medea. Let it not be revoked that Queen Vashti, who may never again appear before King Oxford. Let the king confer his royal title, her royal title, upon another woman who is better than she. Look at those girls. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. I want the title. I want the title. And the king decree which he shall proclaim will then be heard throughout this kingdom, for it is indeed significant, and all the women will respect their husbands. <laughs> Noblemen and commoner alike. The idea pleased the king and the ministers, and king did, did as Mephmuchem had advised. He sent letters to all the king's province, in each province in its script and in each, in each, each national in its language, nation in its language, saying that every man shall be master of his home. All men go like this, yes. Master, yeah. And then to speak the languages of the nation. Okay? So we got to send letters. After these events, when King Oswald's wrath has abated, he remembered Vashti. What? Get Vashti. Get rid of Vashti. Get rid of Vashti. Guard. Get King Vashti. <laughs> Take that crown and give it to somebody else. <laughs> <laughs> He's reading the letter in, in all your languages. <laughs> and now, after these events, do we have King Asueros? Are we, we up to King Asueros? Be up there, I can't see the lead. There's King. There's the King. After these events, King and his advisor. Where's the legal team? Get up there in the throne room. Shamil, Shemazel, and et al. Okay, King and his advisor. After these events, King Oswaro's wrath abated, and he remembered Vashti, what she had done and what she had decreed upon her. Uh oh. So the king's attendant advised, let beautiful girls be sought for the king. And let the king appoint officers in all provinces of his kingdom. And let them gather every beautiful virgin girl to Shushan, the capital, and the harem under the charge of Haggai, chamberlain of the king, custodian of the women. Let their cosmetics be provided. They're going to get cosmetics. This is where it comes from. The first beauty treatment on Galamia. Then let the girl who finds favor in King's eyes become Queen Vashti, become Queen in Vashti's seat. The plan pleased the king and he acted accordingly. So let's bring the girl. We're gathering girls. 
They're looking for the announcement. Now gathering. They're bringing the announcement. It's a government process, you know, it takes a long time. Where's Ruthie? Well, there's the announcement. Oh! Hail ye, hail ye, hail ye, hail ye. Bring all your virgin girls to the game. Gather every virgin girl to Shushan the capital to the harem under the charge of Hagar the Javelin King, consulting women. Then let the girl who finds favor in the king's eyes become Queen Vashti instead of her. The plan pleads the king in the act of the court. So he's gathering the people. <laughs> now that they've been gathered. Now the next thing is at the city gate. We're heading towards the far corner over there. The sign is on the city gate. The sign says you gotta have a membership card to get inside. Oh. <laughs> Are you ready now for the, the city gate? Hold on. Now, when you hear the name Mordecai, everybody say, Yay! When you hear the word Shushan, you go, Shushan, Shushan, Shushan. It's an, it's an interactive play, everybody. Okay? So when, you say, when I say Mordecai, what do you do? Yay! When I say Shushan... Shushan, Shushan, Shushan. All right, now you're now you're getting in the home because we're supposed to we're supposed to tell this to all the children. Amen. Make believe you are children. <laughs> all right, we're now at the. Are we ready at the city gate, puppeteers? All right, Tristan, are we ready at the city gate? Yes. No. Okay. Now we're at the city. We need Morty. Morty. Don't knock over the city. Godzilla. Godzilla entered the picture. Go, go, Godzilla. This is what you call an off, 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 off Broadway production. <laughs> we're so off, we're in Kalamazoo. All right, do we got more to tie? There's Morty. Now we're at the city gate with Uncle Mordecai. Oi, 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 oi. Where is Mordecai? I'm here in Shushan, the capital. Okay, there was a Jewish man in Shushan. Shushan, Shushan, Shushan. Whose name was Mordecai! Son of Yair, the son of Shimli, the son of Kish, a Benjamite, who had been exiled from Jerusalem with the exiles and had been exiled along with Jochaniah, king of Judah. 
whom Nebuchadnezzar, the king of Babylon, had sent in exile. He raised he had raised his cousin Hadassah. Everybody want to hear Hadassah go? Ah. Okay, so he had raised his cousin Hadassah. Ah. Also called Esther. Ah. For he had neither fa she had neither father nor mother. The girl was shapely and beautiful. And when her father and mother died, Mordecai Yay! adopted her as his daughter. Now when the king's order and edict became known, and many girls were gathered to Shushan, 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 the capital under the charge of Haggai, Esther ah, was also taken to the palace under the charge of Haggai, custodian of the women. Take Esther away. I don't want to grow up. I don't want to grow up. I'm a Toys R Us kid. Mordecai, he's waving by. Mordecai's waving by his his daughter. <laughs> Look, they're waving to each other. <laughs> okay, next scene. Advisor, I need an advisor. Where's the advisor? The next scene, we're at the royal palace. Dum 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 We're having a costume malfunction and Janet Jackson has come into the building. <laughs> Where's Justin Timberlake? Alright, now we're at the Royal Palace. The girl found favor in Haggai's eyes and won his kindness. So that he hurried to provide her with her cosmetics and meal. L'Oreal, say. K Cosmetics. Okay? And seven maids were be given her in the palace. He also transferred her and her maids to the best quarters in the harem. All while Esther ah, did not divulge her race or her ancestry. She hid that she was a Jew. And for Mordecai, yay! had instructed her not to tell not to tell that she was Jewish. Every day, there's Mordecai, look at look at Morty. Hey Morty. Every day Mordecai. Yay! Would stroll in front of the harem courtyard and find out how Esther ah, was faring and what could be what would what would be done with her. So he's checking her out, talking. Hey, 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 Unc, how you doing, Unc? I'm doing fine. I got this wonderful beard here. I I got two eyebrows since I shaved the middle. Hey, what's that supposed to be? Okay. Now, when each girl's turn came to go to King Oswaro's, after undergoing the prescribed 12-month care for women, 12 months, 12 months, for only would the period but beauty care be completed, six months with oil of myrrh, and six months with perfumes and women's cosmetics. So she used to bathe in oil of myrrh for six months. She was a slippery girl. <laughs> what are you doing, Isabella? <laughs> okay. But the king, the king. Oh, you gotta get the box to the king, Isabella. I. She's gonna come again. Take two. Give the box to the king. Uh, 
drop the bottle. <laughs> Okay, next. King. King. Pop up. <laughs> oh. He didn't drop that one. <laughs> Good job, Sheila. All right, now back to the story. Now, when each girl's turn came to go to King Oswald's after undergoing 12-month care for women. For only when their period of beauty care be completed, six months of oil emerged, six months of perfume, women and women's cosmetics, with which, are, with which the girl would appear before the king. She would be provided with, with whatever she requested to accompany her from the harem to the palace. In the evening, she would go to the king, and in the morning she would turn to the second harem under the charge of Shagad, the king Chamberlain, custodian of the concubine. She would not go to the king again unless the king desired her, whereupon she would be summoned by an angel. Okay. And when the time for Esther, ah, uh, about a kill, Uncle of Mordecai, Uncle of Mordecai, was taken to her as her daughter to go to the king, she did not ask for a thing other than which Haggai, King's Chamberlain, custodian of the women, had advised. And Esther found favor in the eyes of all. Esther, ah! She found favor in all the eyes that saw her. Esther, ah! Was taken to King Oswaro to his palace. In the tenth month, which is the month of Tibet, in the seventh year of his reign. Moving on up to the east side, we finally got a piece of the rock. Here I come, Elizabeth. And the king loved Esther. Ah, he loved Esther. Esther's fixing her hair. <laughs> There's Esther. And the king loved Esther more than all the women. And she wanted favor and kindness more than all the girls. And he's going to do something special now, everybody. She's really going to become a Jewish princess. He placed the royal crown on her head. I can't see. Can the crown out of the safe? Can the crown out of the safe? She's going to be queen. She's learning how to wave. But she's going to give up her royal throne later. Like, what's her face? She's going to lose her title. Do we got the crown? She's changing. She gives the 12 months of cosmetics. That's how long it takes her to get changed. She's slippery when wet. <laughs> Trying to put that sleeve in. Woo! Remember, she's bathing in oil of myrrh for, six, for 12 months. She slid right into the tub. Whee! Now she's got her. So he placed the royal crown on her head and made her queen in Boston Easted. The king, then the king made a great feast for all the ministers and servants. Servants. The feast of Esther. He lowered taxes. Yay! He must have been a Republican. Now it's time to go to the feast. Everybody here, you're a puppet. Make believe you're a puppet. Okay, we're now at the feast. 
because we, get, we now have extra money because the king lowered the taxes. And when the, when the taxes are lower, people go out to eat other than McDonald's. They now have money for Popeye. <laughs> All right. And when the virgins were gathered, where are the maiden? The virgins were gathered. Come on, lady. Come on, lady. Come on, Bella. The virgins were gathered. The second time, gotta go by Morty. Mordecai, yay! Was sitting at the king's gate. Esther, ah, uh, was still not the vulture ancestry erased. As Mordecai, yay! Had instructed her. Indeed, Esther, ah, uh, come on, everybody, ah, uh, followed Mordecai's instructions, just as she had done while under his care. She listened to Uncle Morty. Okay, now we're at the city gate. We're, we're trying on all the costumes. Okay, we're now at the city gate where the sign is hanging. In those days, everybody pay attention to where Uncle Morty is. In those days, while well, Mordecai sat at the king's gate, everybody, ah, uh, no, Mordecai. Yay! Yay! Big Con and Tarek. <laughs> A little higher with big. Did he lose his? He lost his head. In. <laughs> ha ha! I'm big time in your carriage. Ha ha ha! <laughs> big time in terrors, two of the king's chamberlains from the threshold guard became angry and planned to assassinate King Oswald. They're angry. Look at his eyes bulging out. <laughs> Look at those eyes plugging out of his head. <coughs> okay, the matter became known to Mordecai. Yay! Yay! And he informed Queen Esther. Yeah, Esther. Where's Esther? Where's Esther? Look at those eyes. Look at those red beady guards. Hold on, Esther's coming. Those beady guards with those beady eyes. Go to the window. Esther there at the window. The matter became known to Mordecai and he informed Queen Esther. He's telling her all about it. Tell her about it! Tell her everything you know! And then Esther, ah, then informed the king. Where's the king? Where's the king? Esther, go up to the king. He's on his throne. She informed the king of it in Mordecai. Yay! Name. The matter was investigated and found to be true. Investigators. Guards! Investigators! Guards! Guards! Come on! Guards! Did I get the matter was investigated and found to be true. And the matter was investigated and found to be true. And the two were hanged on the gallows. Hang them. The good, the bad, and the ugly. 
We gotta hang Elmo. We don't have the gals right now. We don't have the gals. Oh. Just picture it in your own mind. <laughs> they were all off scene. <laughs> We're hanging Elmo. Elmo, don't do it. Elmo, no. Elmo, innocent. Elmo, innocent. Cookie Monster did it. <laughs> cookie Monster stole the cookies. All right, now in our next scene. After these events, King Ahasuerus promoted Haman. Ooh. 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 Come on. Haman. Hamadatta, the Agaga, and advanced him. He placed his seat above all his fellow ministers. He's got a high chair. Get it? He placed his seat above everybody else. He's got a high chair. <laughs> okay, he's got a really high chair. He's moving up in the Obama administration. He's going to be Biden's confidant. Because Biden, you know, likes Haman. No, 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 he's going to be a Sanders advisor. Because they're communists. God help us. <laughs> you do your best communist voice, Tristan. Brada. Listen here, Brada. We are going to rule the king in Russia. And these, these communists do not know the power of communism. Free enterprise. Okay. The king's, all the king's servants. Hold on, wait until they get to the city. We're getting to the city gate. Comrade. Comrade, what are you doing? We're getting to the city gate. Okay. 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 He looks like Luis. Okay, ready? After these events, King Oswaros promoted Haman, the son of Hamidata, the Agagite, and advanced him. He placed his seat above all his fellow ministers, so he gave him a high chair because he was a baby. All the king's servants and all the king's gate kneeled. And bowed down before. First Haman. First Haman. Come on down here at the city gate. Haman, come down by the city gate. They have the bow. Everybody bow to Haman. Haman. Now the kings. All the king's servants at the king's gate kneeled and bowed down before Haman. Boo! For so had the king commanded concerning him. But Mordecai! Yay! Comrade Mordecai would not kneel or bow. The king's servant at the king's gate said to Mordecai, Yay! Why do you go against the king's command? Finally, when they had said this to him, day after day, and he did not listen to them, they informed Haman to see if Mordecai would words would endure. For he had told them he would never bow before he was a Jew. Whoa, anti-Semitism, moral, early anti-Semitism. When Haman, ooh, saw Mordecai, yay! would not kneel or bow down before him. Haman was filled with wrath. But Mordecai would not kneel or bow before him. Because Mordecai was a Jew. See his katan, he's Jewish. Okay, next scene. Next scene at the royal palace. Next scene. Scene four, take one. I think we're a little further. 
It's only going to go on for another hour. Got to tell the whole Megillah. Okay, we're now at the Royal Palace. Is everybody in place? Because I can't see everybody. Is everybody in place at the Royal Palace? Okay, are we ready? Let me know if you guys are ready. Everybody. One more time. Are we ready over there? I can't see. I'm just saying, yeah. Okay, now we're at the royal palace. But he thought it contemptible to kill only Mordecai. For they had informed him Mordecai was a Jew. Haman sought to annihilate all the Jews. Mordecai's people throughout Ahasuerus' entire kingdom. In the first month, which is the month of Nissan, not of Toyota, or Honda, or Acura, or Ferrari, the twelfth year of King Ahasuerus' reign, a poor, which is a lot, was cast before Haman. For every day and every month, and it fell on the twelfth month, which is the month of Adar. Did yeah. so we cast a lot? Yeah. Okay. Haman said to King Ahasuerus, Get the king! Bring home the king! Hope save the king! The king's there. <laughs> Haman, Haman, boo! Oh. Said the king of Ahasuerus, Gesundheit. There is one nation scattered and dispersed among the nations throughout the providence of, providences of your kingdom, whose laws are unlike those of any other nation, and who do not obey the laws of the king. It is not the king's. It is not in the king's interest to tolerate them. If it please the king, let a law be issued for their destruction. And I will pay 10,000 silver talents to the functionaries to be deposited in the king's treasury. Hey, he's working for Hunter Biden. <laughs> okay. The king removed his signet ring from his hand and gave it to Haman, son of Hamadatta, the Agagite, persecutor of the Jews. The king said to Haman, the money is yours. Give it to Joe Biden if you need it. And keep the nation, it's yours, to do as you please. Then the king's scribes were summoned. Scribes, summon the scribes. This is before email, everybody. This is even before texting. Before beepers. What a beeper. <laughs> Who knows how to spell hello? <laughs> the king's scribes were summoned on the 13th day of the first month. And all Haman, boo, commanded the king's satraps and the governors each in the province to be, and to the nobles of each nation was written in each province according to its script and the nation according to its language. It was written to king Osh, in King Oswald's name and sealed with the king's signet ring. Are we sealing the scroll? We got the scroll sealed? Yeah. Got it, get it, good. Letters sent were sent with couriers to all the providence of the king. We gotta get the horses. Everybody, one more time. 
And they're riding the horses. See, they're riding the horses. Look at that. Look at that. That's a little horsey. All right. The letters were sent by courier, not FedEx or DHL, to all the provinces of the king to annihilate, murder, and destroy all the Jews, young and old, children and women, on the day of the 13th day of the 12th month, which is the month of Adar, to be plundered their possessions. The couriers hurried out with the order of the king, and the law was proclaimed in Shushan. Shushan! 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 Everybody at the gate. Couriers hurried out with the order of the king, the law proclaimed, and Shushan the capital. Then the king and Haman sat down to drink. King and Haman sitting down to drink. Everybody's in turmoil. The city of Shushan was in turmoil. Look at the turmoil, everybody. Ah! Everybody, make make your turmoil noise. Ah! <laughs> All right, next scene. We're going to be at the gate of the royal palace. Now we're at the city gate, everybody. All right, we're at the city gate. Mordecai knew all that had happened. So Mordecai tore his clothes. <laughs> He's going to put on something else. He tore his clothes. Mordecai who tore his clothes and he fell off the edge of the building. Ah! Hold on. Aren't these costumes beautiful? Yeah. We want to thank Tina and Anna. And anybody else? Anybody else make the costumes? It was Tina and Anna. Robin and Veronica. Tina and Anna made all these costumes. Yay! Is Mordecai in his new costume? The horses have run him up. <laughs> all right. Mordecai knew all that happened, so Mordecai tore his clothes in mourning and put on sackcloth and ash. He went out into the city crying loudly and bitterly. He went up until the king's gate before it is improper to enter the king's gate wearing sackcloth. And in every province where the edict of the king of the law reached, there was great mourning among the Jews and fasting. Crying, wailing, sackcloth and ants were spread out for the masses. Everybody cry, wail, come on. Oh! Oh! It's not bad enough, we're in exile, but now they're gonna kill us! Oh! Don't worry, people. This is all gonna happen soon. This is why we study it. Esther's maids and chamberlains came. Esther. Oh, okay, there we see. I love the dude. Look at the hat. Look at the hat. She's got their shmata on. Esther, so Esther's maids and chamberlains came and told her about it. And Queen Esther uh, was terrified. Terrified. She sent garments with which to dress Mordecai. 
so that he would remove his sackcloth from upon him. Hey, where are you? Hold on. I am here. Comrade, I am here. She's got to send you clothes. Does she know your size? She sent model, Nutella. Okay. So Esther made in Chamberlain of Canaan told Queen Esther, Esther was terrified. She sent garments which stressed Mordecai. So he removed his sackcloth from upon but he did not accept them. Esther summoned Hatak, one of the king's chamberlains. All right, where's the Okay, he's there. He's there. Hey, Hattie. Okay, Hatak went out to Mordecai to the city square that was in front of the king's gate. And Mordecai told him all about what had happened to him, about the sum of money that Haman promised to pay to the king's treasury for the right to, do, to murder the Jews. He also gave him a copy of the law that was proclaimed in Shushan, 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 calling for the annihilation of all the Jews. To show Esther, got to bring the scroll to Esther, and to tell her about it, and to instruct her to go to the king and beseech him and plead with him on the behalf of her nation. Hatak, he went and relayed the words to, of Mordecai to Esther. Now, Esther's going to now talk to Hatak. Esther told Hatak to relay to Mordecai. All the king's servants and the people's king's providence know that any man or woman who goes to the king and enters the inner courtyard without being summoned, he, is but, he has one verdict, execution! Except the person <laughs> to whom the king extends the golden scepter. Only he shall live. live. And I have not been summoned to come to the king in 30 days now. Ah. They relate Esther's words to Mordecai. Bonanza! They relate Esther's words to Mordecai. Mordecai said to relay back to Esther. This guy must be getting so tired. Do not think that you will escape the fate of all the Jews by being in the king's palace. For if you remain silent at this time, relief and salvation will come to the Jews from another source. And you and the house of your father will be lost. And who knows if it is not for just such a time as this that you've reached your royal position. Esther! Esther said, relay this back to Mordecai. Jeez, geez, geez Louise, we're going back and forth to you. Getting such a work out here. I'm glad I'm getting paid by the hour. Go and gather the Jews who are in Shushan. Shushan! 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 For my sake. And do not eat. And do not drink for three days. Night and day. My maid and I shall fast in the same way. Then I should go to the king, though it is unlawful. And if I perish, I perish. You want her to die? <laughs> Mordecai! Yay! Then left and did all that Esther ah, had instructed him. Okay, so he's going to go tell everybody. He's going to tell them about it. Tell them everything you feel. Next scene. One, one minute, talk amongst yourselves for a minute. You're in turmoil because you're all going to die. They're all going to die. If this plan goes through, everybody, listen up. If this plan goes through, 
because they have laws different than the, the people of the nation. The CDC is telling us to shave our beards. Law is different than the nation. Pay attention. I know we're having a little fun, but pay attention to the words being said. Because it's all going to happen again. Is that their change? Now, if you're at work and you're down and out a little bit, turn on WTRCRadio.com. WTRCRadio.com! On Monday night, Rev Ed will not be getting the show. <laughs> Look, he's doing pretty good for getting up at 4 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> he's going to be Humpty Dumpty on the ladder over there. Those women take such a long time to get dressed, you know, because she's still slippery. <laughs> okay, on the third day, Esther donned garments of royalty. <laughs> Don't stand in front of the camera, we can't see each other. And stood in the inner courtyard of the courtyard facing the palace. The king was sitting on the royal throne. Get your mind out of the gutter. On the royal th throne in the palace, facing the pa palace entrance. When the king saw Queen Esther uh, standing in the courtyard, she found favor in his eyes. Uh, the king extended to Esther uh, the golden scepter that was in his hand. For Esther, ah, approached and touched the tip of the of the scepter. The king said to Esther, "What is it, Queen Esther? What is your request? Even if it be half the kingdom, it will be granted to you." Esther said, "If it please the king." But the king and Haman, boo, come today to the feast that I have prepared for him. The king said, tell Haman to hurry, boo, to fulfill Esther, ah, fitting. And the king and Haman, okay, now the king and Haman came to the feast that Esther had prepared. Now they're going to go to Esther's place. They're going to go to Esther's place. You got to go to Esther's house, King and Esther. King, Esther, 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 Esther. Say hello to Yona crossing in front. Come on, brother. Oh, I cannot go to Esther's house. Oh. Okay, now they're at Esther's house. I hope it was clean. I hope she made the bed. You know, you never, you never know when company's coming. You always gotta make the bed. <laughs> you know, somebody, somebody pulls in your driveway. Oh, company! Okay. Now, and the king and Haman, boo, came to the feast of that, that Esther. Ah. Had prepared. At the wine feast, the king said to Esther, Ah, what is your plea? It will be granted you. What is your request? Even if it be half the kingdom, it shall be fulfilled. Esther said, My plea and my request, but I found favor in the king's eyes. And if it pleases the king to grant my plea to fill my request. But the king and Haman, boo, come to the feast that I shall prepare for them, and tomorrow I shall fulfill the king's bidding. So okay. she's stringing them along. Everybody, the king, the city gate, city gate. City gate. No, Haman's house. 
Uh, city gate. City gate. Everybody do the city gate. Everybody. Everybody go by the gate. Good thing it was blasting. Who let the dogs out? Who? 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 It's hammer time. Where is everybody? <laughs> it's hammer. It's Keith Ames and the, the captain of the bar and all those people. That day, Haman, who left happy and content. But when Haman, who saw Mordecai, yay, at the king's gate, and Mordecai neither rose nor trembled before him, Haman was filled with wrath against Mordecai. Oh. oh. <laughs> One more time, everybody. One, two, three. <laughs> One more time. <laughs> All right, now we're going to Haman's house. Oh, oh, look at Haman's house. Looks like an Italian house. It's got plastic on the, on, the, on, the, on the couch. You sit on it during the summer and you get stuck to it. Where's Zeresh? Zeresh! Oh, Zeresh! Zeresh! Higher! Higher! Thank you. Okay, so now we're in Haman's house and this isn't the beautiful house. We'd like to thank Natalie and Chris for doing such a beautiful job. Give Natalie and Chris a big hand. Yay! Yay. Everybody give them a big hand. Big hand. <laughs> like with the kids in the morning. Uh, Haman restrained himself, boo! And he went to his house and sent for his friends and his wife, Zeresh. Haman, boo! Told him of his glorious wealth and his many sons. You know, his wife pumped out ten kids. <laughs> and all about how the king had promoted him, raised him above all the king's ministers and servants. And Haman who said, in addition, along with, with, the, with the king, Queen Esther, ah, invited only me to the feast that she prepared. Tomorrow, two of them invited to her feast along with the king. Yet all this is worthless to me. Whenever I see Mordecai, yay! The Jew sitting at the king's gate. Then his wife, Sarah, see it's always the girl. Always the woman causing problems. Because of time in the garden, nothing stops. Where's the name? <laughs> The wife, Zeres, and all his friends said to him, Have gallows erected 50 cues high, and tomorrow tell the king to have Mordecai hanged on it. Then you will be able to go to bed with good spirits with the king to the peace. Haman was pleased with the idea and erected the gallows. Okay. They're going to build a gallows. We need a carpenter. See, we had the Garden of Eden where Kava said to her husband, Here, eat. Then now we have Zeret. Poker pan. Oh. Ooh. Ah. Can we? <laughs> Okay. Gallows. The gallows have been erected. The gallows have now been erected. We're gonna hang Uncle Mordecai on the gallows. Will it ever happen? Next week on Dallas. <laughs> Will who shot Jr. 
All right, next scene, the royal palace. Okay, are we at the royal palace? Haman's at his house. Haman's at Aren't his they house. doing a good job for no practice at all? Yeah. Yeah. Haman's <laughs> at his house, and I need guards. God, 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 God. King. Okay, now we're at the palace. That night. I need you by the gate, like up top though, above the gate, above the gate. Yes, right there, right there, perfect, go ahead. <laughs> okay, How do you know he's the king? Okay. Got a crown. Got a crown on his head. Got a crown on his head. That night, the king's sleep was disturbed. He ordered, he, he ordered the chamberlains and advisors at the Book of the Records, the Chronicles, be brought. And they were read before the king. Scroll. Bring the scroll. Scroll. Read this man to sleep. Make believe you're reading. Make believe you're reading the Bible. You go right to sleep. Okay. He brought and read before the king. It was found written that Mordecai, yay, had informed on Bigton and Teresh, the two king's chamberlains from the th threshold guards on a plan to assassinate the king. So the king asks, what splendor and honor has been accorded to Mordecai, yay, for this? Nothing was done for him, the king's attendant replied. Who is it in the courtyard? They asked him. Where's Haman? Where's Haman? There he is. Look at the dude with his hat on his. Just then, Haman, Came, boo! Come on, Elizabeth, I didn't hear a boo out of you. Come on, Elizabeth, let everybody hear your boo. Yeah. And Haman, go over by, go over towards the, uh, there you go. Haman came to the outer courtyard in the king's chamber, chamber to tell the king to hang Mordecai on the gallows that he prepared him. Haman is still standing in the courtyard. The king's attendant answered him. Let him come in, said the king. Okay, Haman, go inside. Gates. Keep on knocking, but you can't come in. Keep on knocking, but you can't come in. Okay, close the door. Close the door. So I, so I. Alright, Haman, go up there. Okay. Haman entered, and the king said to him. Wait, wait, wait. There he is. Okay. The king said to Haman. What should be done for a man whom the king wishes to honor? Now Haman said to himself, Who would the king wish to honor more than me? So Haman said to the king, For a man who is, whom the king wishes to honor, let them bring the royal, a royal garment that the king has worn, and a horse upon which the king has ridden, and upon whose head the royal crown has been placed, and the garment and the horse be entrusted into the hands of one of the king's noble ministers, and they shall dress the man whom the king wishes to honor and lead him in the horse through the city square, proclaiming, proclaiming before him, So is done for the man who is the king wishes to honor. The king said to Haman, Boo! Boo. Hurry! Take the garment and the horse, just as you said. And do just as more, and do just so for Mordecai. Yay! Yay! The Jew sits at the king's gate. Do not leave out a thing that you have suggested. Oh. Okay, everybody at the city gate. Do it, Haman. Everybody. Do it, Haman. His arm is stuck in the opposition. Uh. Everybody at the gate. Do you have the horse? Everybody at the gate. Go to the horse. Yeah. We're adding an extra to this. Here's my horse. Here's my horse. Here's my horse. Denise is riding the horse. Denise is riding the horse. Giddy up, little lord. Get, get along, little dog. Get, get, get along, little doggy. Where's Esther's baby? Where's the advisors? Everybody at the gate. Everybody at the gate. Okay. Okay, we're now at the city gate. 
So Haman took the garment and dressed Mordecai. Yay! Yay! And led him through the city square, proclaiming before him, So this is done Yay! for the man whom the king wishes to honor. Yay! Yay! Then Mordecai returned to the king's gate while Haman hurried to his house, miserable, and his face lowered. You don't get to keep the horse. Horse thief! Horse thief! Call the police! <laughs> okay, now we're at Haman's house. I am the police. What do you want? We have to report a bottle of vodka missing. Vodka? I thought it was horse. <laughs> I thought it was sanitizer. I mean, if it was a bottle of blue, that's a different story. Okay. But it's a horse, not a mule. It was a horse. No. Horse. No. Horse. No. It was a horse. <laughs> it was a horse. Tradition. Oh, wrong play. <laughs> all right, now we're at Haman's house. Haman told his wife, Zeresh, and all his friends about what had happened to him. And his wise man and his wife, Zeresh, told him, If this Mordecai, yay, who before you have begun to fall, is of Jewish descent. Yay! You will not prevail over him. Why? Because God made a promise to us. Okay? He will certainly fall before him. While they were still talking with him, the chamberlains of the king, to, king arrived and they Guard. were... Guards! Guards! Come and take Guard. Haman away! Guards! They rushed to bring Haman to the feast that Esther had prepared. Esther! <laughs> Awkward. Awkward. <laughs> Few more minutes, everybody. Get off your phone. You're at the theater. Get off your phone. <laughs> you're at the th you're in the front row of the theater. Everybody's looking at you. Royal Palace. We're now the Royal Palace. King and Haman. And one. Scene change. Intermission. 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 Came and tell. It was condemned. <laughs> The king and Haman came to drink with Queen Esther. Pay attention then. Adriana. Were you drinking out of your goblin again? <laughs> okay. Is that today? Are we all together? We're there. Alright, we're there. The king and Haman came to drink with Queen Esther. And again on the sec on the second day, the king said to Esther during the wine feast, What is your plea, Queen Esther? Well, it will be granted you. What is your request? Even if it's half the kingdom, it will be fulfilled. Queen Esther replied and said, If I found favor in your eyes, O king, and if it pleases the king, let my life be granted to me by my queen and my life and the people of my request. For my people and I have been sold to be annihilated and killed and destroyed, the good, bad, and the ugly. 
had been sold and slaves and maid servants and would have kept silent, but indeed the persecutor is not bothered by the king's laws. King Oswaros had said to the Queen Esther, Who is this? And which one is he? That the who has the audacity to do such a thing? The man who is a persecutor and the enemy is as evil. Haman, Esther replied. And that's and Haman shuddered in the presence of the king and queen. The king arose in wrath and left the wine feast. Whoop. Went to the palace garden. While Haman stood up to beg the queen, Esther, for his life. And he realized the king's hostility toward him was irrevocable. Ooh. Oh. Everybody. Ooh. Ah. That's it. Ooh. Ah. That's it. The king returned to the... To the, the and, and Haman shuddered in the presence of the king and queen. The king rose and wrapped and wept and blind peace went to the palace guard. Haman stood up to beg Queen Esther for his life. For he realized the king's hostility toward him was a rebel. And the king returned from the palace garden to the wine feast chamber, and Haman had fell upon the divan upon which Esther was reclining, he fell upon her couch. Ew! The king said, does, does he even intend to have his way with the queen while I'm in the palace? Ew. Pagan. 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 Okay. As soon as the words left the king's mouth, the face of Haman was covered. Then, oh, the bag of shame is back. He got the bag of shame. Oh. Oh. Everybody. They're creepy and they're kooky. <laughs> you know, we're ready now? Okay, then Carbona, one of the chamberlains, and then the attendants of the king said, in addition, there is a gallows that is Haman erected for Mordecai, who spoke for the king's good standing in Haman's house. Fifty cubits high. Hang him upon it, said the king. The king's guard took Haman away. And they hanged Haman on the gallows as the prepared the work. What happens when you mess with the Jews? God steps in, baby. That's what I'm talking. That's what I'm talking about. On that day, King Azuaros gave Queen Esther the estate of him, persecuting. Everybody's still in shock. It's being recorded. It'll be on YouTube later. We'll be taken off because you, you, you said more. Because <laughs> the foul has hung up the flag. We hung a puppet. <laughs> Alright, now we're up at the top there. On that day, King Osiris gave Esther the ascent in. Persecutor, shh. Persecutor of the Jews. And Mordecai came before the king and Esther told the king how it was related to her. And the king removed his signet ring, which he had taken from him and engaged to Mordecai, and put Esther, and Esther, ah, uh, put Mordecai, yay, in charge of Haman, boo, estate. Esther again spoke before the king, 
and fell before his feet and cried and begged him to nullify the evil decree of Haman the Agagite and the plot that he had plotted against the Jew, the Jews. The kings extended the golden scepter to Esther. Ah. And Esther, ah, rose and stood before the king. She said, if the idea is proper to the king, and I am pleasing in your sight. Let an order be issued before. Let an, let an order be issued in or, ordering the withdrawal of the letters containing the plot of Haman. Boo! In which he ordered the destruction of the Jews throughout the king's province. For how can I behold the calamity that will befall my people? How can I behold the destruction of my race? And he himself has hanged them. He, King Asura said to Queen Esther and Mordecai the Jew, See, I've given Haman's estate to Esther, and he himself was hanged on the gallows for raising his hand against the Jew. Now you can issue a decree concerning the Jews, and you, as, as you please, in the king's name, and seal it with the king's signet ring. For the edict written in the king's name, and sealed with the king's signet ring, cannot be withdrawn. The king's advisor and scribes were summoned. Get the scrolls. Get the scrolls. Get ready the horses. Everybody get ready. Get the horses ready. The king's advisors and scribes were summoned the third month, which is the month of Asaphan. The 23rd day, the edict was written according to all the Mordecai instructed. The Jews, the satraps, the governors, and the nobles in the province of Hodu and Tukush, 127 provinces. In each province, according to its own script, and to each nation, according to its own language, that, and to the Jews, according to their script and language. He wrote it in King Oswaro's name and sealed with the king's signet ring. He sent letters by courier on horseback riding mules, bred for mares, the king's stable, saying that the king had allowed the Jews in every city to gather and stand up for their lives, to annihilate, kill, and destroy any army in any nation and province that might attack them. So we're going to send that out to everybody. Copies of the edict were sent. Copies of the edict were sent and proclaimed as a law in every province. from the king's stable left urgently and hurried with the king's edict and the law was proclaimed in Shushan, 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 the capital. And Mordecai left the king's presence wearing the royal garments of blue and white. You know what Israel's flag blue and white? Now you know. There's Morty. Mordecai left the presence wearing the royal garments of blue and white, large golden crown, and a shawl of, shawl of fine linen and purple wool. And in every province, province and city which the king's either can law reach, there was happiness and joy for the Jews, a celebration and a holiday. Okay, but I need everybody at the gate. Everybody at the gate. Yeah. Mordecai, Mordecai. Se celebrate. Yeshua, celebrate. <laughs> Who let the dogs out? Ho, 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 ho. Okay. All right, let's get to the copy. The, uh, many Gentiles converted to Judaism for fear of the Jews that fallen upon them. And on the 13th day of the 12th month, which is the month of Adar, when the time for carrying out the king's edict and law had arrived, on the day the enemies of the Jews had thought they would dominate them, the situation was re reversed, and the Jews dominated their enemies. No man stood in their way, for fear of them had fallen upon the nations. 
and all the ministers of the providence and satraps governors for the king's functionaries honored the Jews for fear of Mordecai yay, yay had fallen upon them for Mordecai yay, yay was prominent in the king's palace and his fame was spread throughout the province and Mordecai yay, yay was gaining in power and they killed Parshendata and Dalphon and Aspa and Portata and Natalia and Aridata and Permashata Arsai Ardii and, Viz and Vizata the ten sons of Haman son of Hamadatha persecuted the Jews but they took it upon but none but they took none of the spoils the king said to Queen Esther king and queen, king and queen yo king, yo, king. <laughs> king said to Queen Esther ah in Shushan 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 the capital the Jews killed and destroyed 500 men and the 10 sons of Haman. Ooh. What is your additional request? It will be fulfilled, Esther. It will be fulfilled. Esther replied, If it please the king, let the Jews of Shushan, 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 be allowed to do tomorrow what, the lawful, what was lawful today. Let the 10 sons of Haman be hanged on the gallows. The king ordered this to be done. And the law was proclaimed in Shushan. Shushan! 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 And the ten sons of Haman who were hanged. So the Jews of Shushan gathered again on the 14th day of the month of Adar and killed 300 men in Shushan but took none of the spoil. They rested on the 14th day and made it a day of feasting and rejoicing. On the 13th, on the 13th and 14th of Adar, thus the Jews who live in the unwalled cities make the 14th day of the month of Adar a holiday, a day of feasting. Now Mordecai recorded these events. Mordecai recorded the events. Mordecai. Mordecai. Turn, turn around, Morty. Oh, oh, I'm getting a little old. I'm a little bit too high. Now Mordecai recorded all these events and sent letters to all the Jews living throughout the province, the king of Esquerros, near and far, instructing them to obligate themselves to celebrate annually the 14th and 15th day of the month of the Dar, like the day upon which the Jews, which the Jews were relieved of their enemies, and in the in the month which they had been transformed from one from sorrow to joy. The king from the morning Joy from morning festivity make the days of feasting, rejoicing, sending food portions to one another, and giving gifts to the poor. You guys can have all a little piece of our corn beef, just a little piece. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the king sent and ordered letters to be written to the effect of name and people pot against the Jews. To be returned upon his own head, and he said the sons were hanged upon the gallows. For this did they call the days of forum after the poor because of all these events of this sort, which explains what happened to them and why they saw it fit to establish this holiday. And these days are commemorated and celebrated in every generation by every family, every province, every city. And these days of forum will never pass from among the Jews or shall their memory depart from the descendants. Queen Esther, the daughter of Abigail, and Mordecai the Jew wrote about the enormity of this miracle to establish the holiday for this second Purim dispatch. And he sent letters to all the Jews in 127 provinces of Osiris Kingdom, words of peace and truth, instructing them to observe these days of Purim on their proper days, in a manner established by them to Mordecai the Jew. Queen Esther just they had erected a pond of descendants and served the face to peace. We're doing that today, everybody. And their lamentation, the behest of Queen Esther confirmed the observance of the forum days when the story was included in the book. King Oswaros levied a tax upon the mainland and islands in the sea and the entire history of this power and strength 
the account of Mordecai's greatness, whom the king had promoted, and recorded the book of in the book of Chronicles, the kings and the, of the kings of the and Persia. For Mordecai the Jew was second to King Oswaro, a leader to the Jews, loved by many brethren. He sought the welfare of his people, and he spoke peace for all their descendants. Amen? Amen. 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 Everybody come take a bow. Everybody come take a bow. Everybody come take a bow. Let's give everybody a big hand. Stand up so everybody can see you guys. Let it stand. Show that and Bella come out front to the game. Come out front, Bella. Come stand in front of them, Bella. Go to the middle. so that we can have a feast. Is the food all ready over there? Anna, you feel that they're all the food ready? Yay! 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 Tina and Anna, come over here. She's a queen of Luxembourg. Let's give our teachers a big hand. Yay! Hey, come on, let's give them again. Tina. fingers that they prick with their needle. Everybody, big hand. One, two, th uh, three, hallelujah. One, two, three. Hallelujah! 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 See, God, God's name is not mentioned. God's name is not mentioned at all in the book. El nombre de Dios no está, no es mencionado en el libro de Esther. But you can see God's hand all over. Pero se puede ver la mano de Dios en el libro. When you think God is not with you, cuando crees que Dios no está contigo, as long as you have faith, He is with you. Con que tengas fe, Él está contigo. You see how many times Esther was said, I'll give you half the kingdom. Ustedes notaron cuántas veces se le dijeron a Esther que le iban a dar medio, medio reino. And she had everything to lose. Ella tenía todo que perder. And nothing to gain here on earth. Y nada en el ganar aquí en la tierra. But now a couple thousand years later we're still talking about Queen Esther. We've got to remember these times people. Tenemos que acordarnos de estos tiempos. Because we might be called upon that the faith of Mordecai and Esther. Porque pueden ser que somos llamados para tener la fe de Esther y Mordecai. We don't bow to anybody. Nosotros no nos inclinamos frente de nadie. We only bow to the Lord our God our King. Nosotros solo nos inclinamos frente del Señor. For there is only one King. Y sí, solo hay un Rey. And He is the King of the Jews. His name is Yeshua. Y él es el Rey de los judíos, Yeshua. For every knee shall bow and every tongue will confess that He is Lord and King. Donde toda rodilla se inclinará y cada, cada lengua hablará que él es rey. 
and one day we're going to be sitting at the table at his feet. Shalom, this is Messianic Rabbi Andrew Dinnerman. I would personally like to thank you for tuning in to the Remnants Call each and every week. You can listen to the full message on our website, BethGoyim.org. If you have drawn closer to the King of Kings, learned more about Him today, we are blessed. If you are blessed by these messages, please consider a donation to our ministry. You can go to our website, BethGoyim.org. That's B E T H G O Y I am.org and click on the donate button. You do not have to have a PayPal account to donate. All you need is a debit card. Once again, thank you very much for listening to The Remnants Call. If you have not taken your first steps to be born again, just ask God's help. Remember, it's His loving grace that has come to find you. No one is worthy or able to reach God, but God can reach us, and He's reaching out to you now. Just open your heart and let Him in. His arms are open, and the blessing of salvation and eternal life are waiting for you. Don't let it wait any longer. Shalom. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord lift his face to shine upon you. May the Lord be gracious unto you and give you his shalom. Shalom. My name is Messianic Rabbi Andrew Dinnerman, and I invite you to come to visit our congregation. If you are in the tri-state area, come out and visit with us on Shabbat. We are a congregation of Jews and Gentiles, living as one in the Messiah Yeshua. BGMC is a place of true worship. The focus never wanders from the Hebraic roots of our faith. Beth Goyim is rooted in the Word of God from Bereshit through to the book of Revelation. Messiah's strong words against man-made tradition are carefully recorded in Matthew 7. That is the reason we only follow the straight-up instructions found in Scripture, truly the way, the truth, and the life. If you're looking for a deeper walk with Adonai, come out for our Tuesday evening Bible study called Messianic Torah Time. Come, spend a day with us on any Shabbat. We start at 11 a.m. with the sound of the ancient Hebrew shofar. Next, we offer our King praise and worship in English, Hebrew, and Spanish. After worship, we review the headlines in the previous week's news from around the globe, especially news from the Holy Land, Israel. We don't just list the news headlines as current events, but we comb through the scriptures, searching for clues to understand what they mean and then to help pinpoint prophetically our current position on Adonai's clock. After digesting all that modern information, we leave the world behind as we journey with our Adonai deep into his eternal word not with just one or two scriptures, but usually seven or more scriptures. The spiritual nourishment and the richness of his kingdom become accessible to the ones who share this special time and seek them out. The day does not end there. Because Shabbat is so special to him, there is always so much more that our king desires to share. So instead of separating and leaving, we stay together as a family for potluck lunch and an afternoon study of our King's Word. We close the Shabbat together with the reading of the New Week's parasha. That's the Torah portion. Even after those blessings, many of us just can't get enough. So the members bring prepared homemade foods to share while we all enjoy an uplifting movie together. If all that information is not quite enough, you can check out our website where you will find over 200 video teachings and biblical holy day studies. 
under Messianic Torah Time, the Hebrew Roots button, you'll discover free studies on many, many different topics, including PowerPoint slide presentations. If Beth Goim sounds like a place you'd love to visit, but you live outside the tri-state area, there is still a way to connect with us. We stream live on the internet on Tuesday, Thursday, and Shabbat. The website is www.bethgoyim.org. That's B-E-T-H-G-O-Y-I-M.org. Our phone number is 973-338-7800 or 978-2-YESHUA. That's 978, the number 2, YESHUA. Shalom.